This is a special broadcast from the United States Department of Security and Health. Do not turn off your television set. Pay special attention to this urgent message. In a rapidly evolving public health crisis, toxic black mold has reached containment zones in Atlanta, George, and Birmingham, Alabama, heightening concerns for neighboring states on the east and west coasts. Cities along both coasts have already been grappling with the widespread presence of this dangerous mold, necessitating immediate and aggressive actions to mitigate its spread and safeguard public health. Toxic black mold, scientifically known as Stachybotrys charterum, poses severe health risks, particularly when inhaled or ingested. Exposure can lead to respiratory issues, skin irritation, allergic reactions, and in severe cases, it may result in neurological problems. The recently discovered subspecies that has infested the United States arrived in the country on July 13 after initial reports from U.S. military personnel in Guam and similar reports from Southeast Asia. The new variant of black mold is incredibly toxic, particularly to humans. Side effects include skin irritation and rash, burning eyes, burning eyes, burning eyes, 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 healing of the skin surrounding the fingernails and scalp, vivid hallucinations, respiratory irritation and failure, and ultimately death. As of today, September 17th, the mortality rate of verified cases is 100%. After death, the mold can decompose the entire body within two hours. Due to the potential gravity of the situation, the public is urged to remain vigilant and prioritize their safety. Health officials and environmental agencies reveal that toxic black mold, known for its hazardous health effects and rapid propagation, has surpassed containment measures and emerged outside of restrictive zones in Atlanta and Birmingham. Authorities are intensifying efforts to address this dire situation and are emphasizing the importance of proactive measures in adjacent states to curb the dissemination of toxic mold. 